up? Welcome back to episode two of Growing With Naya. I actually, you know, decided to just put my hair in a little messy, low ponytail because I just washed my hair and just did my deep condition because today is my deep condition day. By the way, guys, I'm not naked. I have a, um, a romper on. It's pretty cute, you know? So don't, don't be like, is she naked? Because no, I don't, no. <laughs> So in this episode, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys what you will need in order to go through this process with me, growing with Naya, growing your hair with me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just show you a whole bunch of products that I use and I recommend that, sh that you guys should use in order to grow your hair. Now, just a disclaimer before I show you guys the, vid the products. I am not a professional. I am not a hairstylist. I do not specialize in hair. I did not go to school for hair. So everything I'm sharing with you guys is from my experience. This is what I used in the past and what I still use. So if you guys for some reason know a certain ingredient does not agree with, agree with your hair and it's in the product that I'm telling you guys to, that you should go get, then do not use it. Do not put it in your hair just because you think that Oh, it worked for Manaya, so it's going to work for me. Maybe you should get something similar, but not exactly the same product. But then again, you might not have that problem. You, your hair can probably take any product, and you can use the product that I'm going to share, share to you guys. So, of course, every week or every two weeks, depending on who you are, we wash our hair. I wash my hair every week, and I used to wash it every two weeks, but I change it to every week. Um, we wash our hair and you should wash your hair. So, of course, the first thing we're going to need is shampoo. There are two kinds of shampoos that I really like. I love the Pantene Truly Natural Oil and Rinse Formula. A moisturizing shampoo I just started using it and I love the way it makes my hair feel it makes my hair feel really moisturized and not dry at all because my hair is really dry so that's one of my favorite shampoos the other shampoo that I really like is the Tresemme breakage defense um, shampoo anti-breakage shampoo and it's really big this lasted me about like three to four months and I really recommend it I'll have to say if I had to choose between Tresemme and Pantene I would probably say Tresemme I really like trust me I love the way it makes my hair feel so it's up to you um what kind of um, shampoo you want to get but just make sure you do not get shampoo with any sulfate or um, parabens in it you know you want to avoid those kind of things or alcohol well no not alcohol but just avoid it basically if you cannot pronounce the ingredient that's in the shampoo or whatever it is don't buy it Put it that way don't don't buy it, you know what I mean at the end of the video I will write a list of things that you should avoid in any hair products so you guys can keep that in mind and you can screenshot it if you like if you're watching this on your phone or take notes wow I talked a lot but yes I will put that after the video so you guys will know what to buy what to avoid and yeah so conditioner right I don't use one because I use a conditioner for my actual product so you know how some people they wash their hair with shampoo and then they take the conditioner and they just comb throughout their hair just to you know condition it yeah I don't do that because I usually use a deep conditioner or a hair mask kind of the same thing I guess so the deep conditioner that I use is hair mayonnaise original by Africa's best hair mayonnaise There's different kinds. I just got through using a different one. I really can't remember. I think it was ORS. I don't know. I don't even want to give you the wrong information. I really can't remember, but there's different kinds, and I just like using hair mayonnaise because, I don't know, it has a lot of oil to it, and my hair just looks really shiny, like right now. I'm going to show you guys. 
So yeah, it makes my hair really shiny and I just, I just love it. So deep conditioning is very important. I would say that you guys should deep condition every week and I will show you guys how to do that in a different episode. But yeah, deep conditioning every week is really important. Even if you don't want to wash your hair while you're deep conditioning, that's totally fine. You could just deep condition and rinse it out. For those of you that want to use a conditioner, um, you can. I don't do it because that's just what I don't want to do. I find there's no purpose in it. It's totally fine to just get the Pantene version of the conditioner and the Tresemme version for the conditioner. So yeah. So now for the best part, your actual product that you're going to keep in your hair, your leave-in conditioner, your, um, your curling styling cream, whatever it is. Let's talk about that, guys. By the way, I apologize that I'm looking over to the side. I have like all my products right here and I'm trying to just before I pick it up, trying to pick out which one I'm going to show you guys because I have a whole bunch. The product that I use to just put in my hair as a leave-in is the Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. Sorry, Renewing plus Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. I love this stuff right here. I just got some yesterday. So it says, a unique precious blend with argan oil of Morocco helps to penetrate the hair shaft, discover newly restored strength, shine, softness, and seductive silky perfection. Wow, that, that just sounds amazing. Like, I'm gonna cry, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff is really good. Um, oh yeah, on the back it says sulfate free, so. Like I said, guys, you want to avoid sulfate. Avoid it. It dries out your hair and it just, no, it's not good. But I love the way it smells. It smells amazing. It smells like my hair right now. So I'm going to show you guys the texture of it. So this is what it looks like. And then when you rub it in your hands, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, it's just so soft. It's like a buttery feeling, but it's not too oily and that's what I like about this product. It is not too oily, but it doesn't make your hair too dry. So when you put it in your hands, it doesn't leave your hands with an oily feeling, you know? I'm gonna actually keep it on my hands because it smells so good, oh my gosh, I love. I would really recommend this product for those of you with like a loose curl pattern or with my kind of hair texture. For those of you who have more of a tight curl pattern and a kinkier hair texture, I would really re recommend this product right here. It is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. And then on the bottom it says, Intensely Smooth and Nourished Natural Chemically Processed or Heat Styled Hair, Sulfate-Free and Color Safe. So, that's a lot of information, but this stuff is really amazing. Um, I'm going to open it up for you guys. This is what it looks like. It is really watery. It kind of just looks like a bunch of the, it looks like a bunch of conditioner mixed with like a bunch of water, but like, see that? It's literally like digging my hand in it and then like, yeah, it's really watery. For my oils. Um, yes, let's talk oils because that is what we lack a lot. Well, that's what I lack a lot and I'm pretty sure that's what most curly girls lack a lot because you're always wetting your hair, wetting your hair, putting water on it and it's just like, you know, your hair is like, where's my oil at, girl? You just, where's my oil at? <laughs> so I use this just to give my hair some shine and it is the Palmer's Olive Oil Formula, Olive Oil Growth Grow therapy for healthy hair and scalp. So it's a I love the smell of it. Um it smells like olive oil. Oh yeah, and then it says no sulfate, no parabens, 100 percent pure olive oil. Um it's green but when you put it on your finger, it comes out clear. Um, very oily. I like it. 
like it. I advise you guys to use this stuff when your hair is like really dry, um, when you're in need of oil. Maybe if you want to do a quick like bun and then your, you know, your edges looking kind of dry, you just whip it up, hydrate your curls real quick. You want to make sure you have a wide tooth comb. Um, this is a comb that came from the line Conair. And then you want to get a brush that has like bristles, like thick bristles, and they're like spaced in between each other. This is actually from Conair too. I got those two together. So you don't want to get the brushes that have the teeth so tightly tight together because that can work out your hair. You want to have them make sure they're wide tooth. So wide teeth, guys, that is key, all right? A shower cap is really important, guys, and I can't stress how important it is because, you know, it's kind of weird that we're doing a curly hair journey. We're thinking curls, you have to always wet your hair in the shower. It's kind of bad to always wet your hair in the shower, especially if it's not needed because you're splitting your ends when you're always putting water to your hair. I I know there are the shower caps, the little um, clear shower caps that you could just buy at the dollar store. You could buy at the hair store anywhere. They're probably like a dollar something. I don't know. But I have this shower cap and it's like the plasticky material on the outside and then the inside is fabric. And it's really nice. It's like a silk fabric on the inside. And I'm not going to lie, like sometimes I sleep with this, which we're going to get to next. So talking about sleeping, you want to make sure you have a silk bonnet. And like you could tell by how much hair I have that I even stretched the bonnet open because I have so much hair and I have to like put it over it. Like right now my hair is really thin, but over time when it gets big and puffy, I need something to put over it. So yeah, you want to make sure you have a silk bonnet, and of course I have a bunch of them laying around somewhere. You want to make sure you have a silk bonnet and a shower cap. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Be here next time for episode 3. Um, I really still don't have a schedule on where I, how I post my videos. I just post them probably like every week. Um, no later than 2 weeks. So yeah, be here next time. Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs>